Want to see guaranteed growth from your protective style? Then stay tuned so you don't miss this simple but yet crucial step. You're probably missing out on the most important step of protective styling if your hair is just dry and you're not seeing any growth. And this step is moisturizing. If you want to see how I got this juicy, moisturized protective style, then carry on watching. And there's a bonus tip at the end. You'll need your spray bottle, a leave-in to keep the protective style moisturized, and a sealant of your choice, I like to use hair grease. Split my hair into subsections to make sure the moisture is evenly distributed. You'll need your towel, don't forget. Then I spray my liquid evenly throughout my hair to make sure it's damp. And then I take my leave-in to make sure my hair is fully coated and ready for the protective styling process. I cover from root to tip just to make sure my hair is fully saturated and ready for styling. I use the praying hand method just to make sure that the product is evenly distributed throughout my hair and then I take my hair grease and seal all that good stuff in. So whilst I'm sealing my hair in, I'll just say this. This is the best protective style prep for me because it's simple and so effective. This step has helped me to see a huge increase in my hair growth. So as you can see guys, I'm just twisting my hair away, the section that I've done, and I'm just doing this so my hair doesn't retangle back on itself. And I'm just going to repeat this step throughout my whole entire head, just so my hair is prepared and fully saturated and ready for the protective style. This part is entirely optional, but you can use edge wax or this edge tamer that I found if you're looking for that more finished look. Don't worry, I'm going to link these products down below in the description box so you'll be able to purchase them from my Amazon store. So the reason for me choosing the flat twist guys is because I feel that this is the best protective style to grow my hair. The twists are looser than cane rows or corn rows, therefore putting less stress and tension on my hair. Flat twist can be a little tricky to do, I get that guys. So I've also done a corn row version of this style which I will also leave in the description box down below. If you are interested in doing flat twist guys, if you can see what I'm doing, I'm just putting my finger through and collecting hair. I find it's easier to use my comb to scoop up the hair from the front of my hair, if that makes sense as you can see there. Just to make sure that the hair is taut, not tight but taut and everything's all lined up nicely. Okay, so then I'm just doing the same with the back, I'm just smoothing it out with the brush. And as I get to the end now, guys, because it is a twist, which is more likely to unravel than a braid, I tend to put a hairband or a hair tie at the end of my hair. And also for the direction that I was twisting in, I can't twist a normal twist, a two strand twist in that way. So I then put the hairband in and I twist my hair the other way, but this is just for my preference. But the style isn't finished yet guys, don't go anywhere, I have a bonus tip for you coming up right now. The added bonus is tucking those ends away guys. Yes, it's still a cute hairstyle, you can have your bun but your ends will be protected as well. Alright, so now you know how to properly moisturise your hair for your protective style, you're going to want to know how to protect it during the night so you can keep your style looking fresh and last until the next wash day. Click this video now to see the three ways to protect your natural hair at night.